Hey YouTube fam, welcome to class, welcome to your practice. My name is Rain and I'll be here to guide you today. I have my blocks here with me, find yourself some, maybe thick books or pillows if you don't have any. Yeah, so um, before anything else, I just want to thank you for being here on my channel. Um, I always ask people on the broadcast channel, uh, channel on Instagram for um, requests if you have anything that you think that you want to work on or you want to move with. Um, if this is your first time to be here, welcome. My name is Rain. I guide people to teach at, and move mindfully. Yes, let's go and start. So let's find ourselves first in our Virasana. Stay here like so, or find your block. I'm going to place it here between my ankles. Yeah, that will be my seat. Go higher if you need that. Knees together or like a slight space here in between. Collect your hands here at the center. On your next inhale, roll the shoulders to the ears. Pull it back and then pull it down. Soften the gaze forward, down, or close your eyes here for a few moments. And just notice how you breathe. Bring awareness to the space that you're going to cultivate today. Give yourself permission to be at ease and be in full alignment with whatever intention you're taking for today's practice. May it be for strength or for clarity or really just taking time to move and take care of yourself. Soften the face. Notice if there's anything that you want to put down just for now, anything that feels heavy on your shoulders. Put them on the side so that you can move as mindful as you can for today's practice. Once you're ready, Softly bring awareness to your eyes if they were close, open them now. Let's go reach your hands up and overhead on one big inhale. And then on your exhale, hands in prayer to your heart, bow down as you're gazing into your own heart. Namaste. Let's go and move. Reach your hands up and overhead. Slowly bend the elbows to the sides, open your heart. Maybe touch the booty to the back, gaze above. And then slowly reach your arms forward, left arm on top of your right. Let's go find eagle arms. Palms together, elbows forward, fingertips to the sky. Notice how you're inflating the back of your heart by pulling your shoulder blades away from each other. Breathing in. Breathing out. Release, unravel, elbows to the back once more, open the heart. Exhale, forward, this time right arm on top. Keep reaching your elbows forward. Notice the sensation in your shoulders on your arms. Release your hands, take it to the back once more. This time, clasp your hands at the back. Just the fingertips or palms, heels of the hands together. You can find your strap here if this is too much or it's not accessible for now. Roll the shoulders to the ears, back and down as you take your knuckles maybe to the toes or maybe away from the hips, yeah? Feel the shoulder blades squeezing in, open the heart, reach your heart out, gaze forward. One big inhale, one big exhale. Release your hands and clasp. Let's go towards your tabletop. So release the block onto the side for now. Let's go find yourself on your all fours, finding your wrist openers. Shoulders stack on your wrists, open the fingers out wide. Let's go find yourself rocking forward, clockwise and counterclockwise. So when you do this, you want to notice how you're breathing, paired with the breath as you move mindfully. Notice your knuckle pads, your finger pads. This is a nice way to somehow ground yourself down so you can somehow go to the process of arriving in your practice. Sometimes even if we're moving already, our minds are somewhere else. So this grounding sensation when you're feeling the texture of your mat allows you to be here. And of course, how you're moving and breathing at the same time. Once you're ready, come back center, wrists looking at each other, fingertips pointing to the long edges of your mat, side to side here. Breathing in. Breathing out. Come back center, wrists looking forward, fingertips pointing to your knees. So this is already good enough. If this is too much, you can take your hands a little bit near the knees or go here. Let's go find your cat 
and cow. On your next inhale, tailbone will point to the sky, belly drops down, squeeze your shoulder blades to the hips as you open your heart, gaze above, exhale around the back, tuck the tailbone, pull the belly in, chin to chest. One more round, breathing into your cow, and as slowly to your cow. One last round, inhale, and then release down. Come back center on your neutral. Release your hands. Very nice. Let's flip your pancake one at a time. Left palm up, fingertips pointing to the knee. See if you want to bend the elbow or take a fist. Other side now, flip the right pancake. Again, bend or make a fist. Once you're ready, gently come back center. Tuck the toes this time and take a seat here at the back of your mat. Clasp your hands and slowly make your roll. So side to side or infinity circle, see what feels good, yeah? So at any point in your practice, even if it's not here in this class, if you feel like you need some um, a way to release tension, find your way there. You always wanna make sure that you are practicing with safety, all right. Once you're ready, plant your hands here again. Let's go tuck your toes and then let's wake up your core for a moment. Lift your knees one or two inches away from the mat. Now notice your shoulders. See if you wanna protract your shoulders. Firm the inner arms. The inner knuckle pads are pressing deeply, firmly down to the ground. Notice if your pinky toes are down as well. Stay for four, firm the inner thighs. Three, two, soften the face. And one, knees down at the same time, untuck the toes, let's go to your first child's pose. Big toes comes to touch, hips on your heels, reach your hands forward, fold the forehead down. Inhale, and exhale. Gaze forward, let's swing your arms to the right side. So swinging deeply here, opening the left side body, relax the head, relax the neck. Inhale, and exhale. Look forward. This time, left hand, left palm will somehow thread to the right side as your right hand either extends forward or to the sky. Come to a twist. Inhale, exhale. Breathing in, and out. Come back center, release. Let's go slide to the left side. So our right hand reaches farther forward. Plant, it's as if you want to snap your right armpit down. Breathing in through the nose. Exhale, let something go. Last one here. Let's release, gaze forward. Right hand threads, right palm facing sky. Again, left hand forward or left hand to sky. See what feels good on this side. Sometimes one side is different from the other, so it's not really supposed to be the same thing all the time. Notice how much you wanna honor your body in today's movement. Again, find yourself in your present moment. Notice how this feels. Once you're ready, look forward, release, go to the seat here. So on your next inhale, we're going to press the palms here. Maybe press onto the tops of your feet so much that you lift your knees. Maybe lift the hips, come into like a varied lolasana. Protract the shoulder blades. And then slowly knees down. See if you want to take your cow tailbone up, open the heart. Gaze forward or gaze back. Let's do that one more round. Chin to chest, press the palms, lift the knees, lift the hips, core engaged, cat in the back, and knees down, release to your cow. One more round. Chin to chest, press with your hands, firm, and the knees down, find your cow. Come back center, crawl forward once more. Let's go find your first downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back. 
Bend the knees one by one. Swing side to side if you want. So this is something that I like to do when I'm on my down dog and I find myself moving. I swing my hips to one side. It's like my toes are pointing to one edge. I take my spider fingers there and then see if I want to bend more onto the knees. You're going to feel that stretch in the sides of the hips, your lats. Keep firm on that left hand, pressing down to the ground. And then release. Do this on the opposite side, give it a try. Swing the hip to the side, spider finger, bend the knee. Come back center and then release. Once you're ready, heels up, ripple forward, come to your first strong plank. Shoulders stack on your wrist, firm the inner thighs. Press on all of your hands, readjust if you need that. Find your knuckle pads and your finger pads here for you. One big breath here. On your exhale, bend the knees down to the ground at the same time. Heart, hip, belly will go all the way down to the ground. Very nice. Untuck the toes. Roll the shoulders down and back. Open the heart. Find your cobra. Exhale to fold. One more round. Open the heart. And unfold down. One more round. Open the heart. And unfold down. Next breath brings you to your sphinx pose. So shoulders will stack on your elbows. Open the fingers out wide. You can find a block here. First, either here on the hands, plant the palms together. So you want to keep on squeezing that block with both of your hands or find them here on your elbow. So keep pressing in towards each other. Yeah, if you're here, plant your hands here. Slowly tuck the toes, making sure nothing's painful. Now we're gonna move like a wave here. So on your next breath, you're gonna protract your shoulder blades, chin to chest here. See if you can lift your belly and then lift your hips. Slight tuck on the tailbone firm, the inner thighs. Lastly, where your knees will lift, come into your forearm plank. Inhale here. On your exhale, reverse. Knees will ground down, thighs, hips, belly, coming towards your sphinx pose. Yes, now you see where your blocks are. Were we able to press it together? Were we able to press the palms together? See the blocks? Let's try it here with your palms down. So whenever you're ready, open the heart, inhale. Then on your exhale, chin to chest, protract the shoulder blades, slowly lift, core engage. Knees will come up, forearm plank. Breathing in, breathing out, knees down, thighs, hips, heart open. Very nice. One last round, a little bit more fluid and a little bit more controlled. So plant the palms, chin to chest, protract, slowly lift. And then go down. Awesome. Release the block for this moment. Take your elbows into the side, untuck the toes, fold the forehead down. This is somehow a nice way to connect yourself, your heart, your forehead towards the ground. It's like rooting back to your center. Come into full alignment of how you are when you, when you show up in your practice. On your next breath, gaze forward, plant your hands beside the chest, tuck the toes, let's go to your down dog, down dog once more. Open your heart, lift your hips up and back, add homo kashvanasana, bend the knees, swing the hips. Inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth, let it go. On your next breath, let's take your heels up, ripple forward to your plant. See if you can find fluidity here, as slow as you can, as controlled as you want. Exhale brings you back, downward facing dog. One more round, just like that. Heels up, ripple forward, press on all of your hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. One last round, heels up, ripple forward. Exhale, downward. Facing dog. Very nice. 
Left leg comes up, breathing in. Bend the left knee, hip joint mandala. See if you want to shake. Rock it clockwise and counterclockwise. Notice how your standing leg is as well. Notice how your calves are strong. Keep firm on all of your hands, especially that right hand. Extend once you're ready. Bend the left knee to the heart. Step the left foot forward in between your hands. Firm the inner thighs once you're ready. Let's rise to your high lunge. Open the heart. And then slowly take your arms maybe behind the ears, cactus arms, breathing in. And then slowly go back down. Plant your hands, left leg super slow, extend it to the sky once more. Look forward, find your plant, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Reset, right leg reaches sky. Bend the right knee. Again, clockwise and counterclockwise. Open the hip. Extend. Bend the knee to the heart. Step the right foot forward. Firm everything in. And then slowly rise. High lunge. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the elbows. Cactus arms. And then slowly plant back down. Come back, three-legged dog. Ekapada Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Reset. Inhale. And exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. On your next breath, Look forward, see if you can plant both of your forearms down to the ground. Press in all of your hands, lift your hips up towards your dolphin pose. If this is still not okay right now, you can lift the heels, you can bend the knees up to you, yeah? Keep pressing on all of your hands, your forearms, your elbows. And then slowly, once you're ready, look forward. We're gonna try to somehow go fluidly towards your Chaturanga Dandasana. So you can lift the heels, even bend the knees, and then slowly reach your heart forward. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Reset, let's do that one more round. Whenever you're ready, gaze forward. At the same time, bend the elbows down to the ground. Take your heart up to the heels. Lift your hips up whenever you're ready. Look forward. Let's go back. Chaturanga. Ordva Mukha. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Very nice. One last round. Let's do this. Look forward. Ground into the elbow. Super fluid and slow. Let's go for your Chaturanga whenever you're ready. Upward facing dog. Knees down. Child's pose. It's a nice way to check in on how your shoulders are. Making sure nothing is painful. Notice how your biceps and your forearms are. Breathing in. Breathing out. Once you're ready, look forward, ground back. This time we're going to start from your forearm plank. This time. Top the toes. Core engage, and then slowly lift your hips up. Take your heart back, ground your heels down. On your next breath, let's try left leg comes up to sky. Keep squaring the hips, and then keeping that nice press on your forearms. Point or flex, you can even bend the left knee, open the hip. Extend, and then reset. Let's try everything on the opposite side, right leg up. Bend the right knee. Breathing in, breathing out, release. Inhale, on your exhale, gaze forward, <laughs> shoot forward to your Chaturanga. Ardva Mukha, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Reset, replenish, whenever you're ready, heels up, bend the knees, gaze in between your hands, let's go to your Malasana. 
hips down. Notice how you feel on your hips, elbows against the knees, knees against the elbows, hands in prayer to your heart. Close your eyes here for a few moments. Just a nice way to somehow notice how your upper body is. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, let it go. Open your eyes. Once you're ready, plant your hands here. Let's go find a way towards your downward facing dog. So find your journey if you are here with me and you want to try your curl pose or any kind of um, inversion actually, feel free to do that. Maybe find your heads down, hands down, up to you. If you're here with me, let's go try a curl pose if you want that. Plant your hands forward, lift your hips, maybe take both of your feet, keep the distance apart, bend into the elbows, and then slowly find your flight. We're all meeting in your downward facing dog. Then slowly, once you're in your down dog, if you're not there, go down again. It's just a nice way to somehow release the tension from all of that upper body. Because, of course, we're going to build up to that. So whenever you're ready, let's go. Ground onto your elbows. Find forearm. And then slowly, left leg reaches sky. Point or flex up to you. Look forward. Let's go towards your chaturanga. Come to plank. Now let's go side plank to your right side. Maybe bend the left knee, left hand to sky. And as all these step back, find your wild thing. Open up the heart, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Look forward, slowly, very, very slowly. Lift the left knee again, left foot steps forward. Come towards your warrior two. Open your heart. You're breathing in. Breathing out. Reverse your wire. And then slowly find Parsva Konasana. Left hand, left foot, right hand reaches sky or to the front. Inhale. And exhale. Look down. Right hand plants down. Lift the right heel. Left hand guides us to the back. Toes pointing to the left long edge of the mat. Gaze follows the left thumb. Reverse Skandasana. Inhale. And exhale. Release, lift your hips. Left hand reaches your 11 o'clock. Extend the right leg, right hand comes towards your half moon. Core engage, option to stay here. Or go try a bend, find your chapasana. Breathing in, breathing out. Release, bend both knees, release the right foot. Left knee taps the left calf. Find Shiva squat, hands in prayer to your heart. And let's find your airplane. Right leg releases to the back. Find your warrior three. Inhale here. Exhale, release your hands. Let's go find standing split. The right leg reaches sky. Whenever you're ready, look forward. And then slowly plant your hands, step back, chaturanga, make your way to your downward facing dog. You can even try your handstand here if you want that. Meeting you all in your downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. Once you're ready, plant your forearms again down to the ground. Right heel comes up, breathing in. Slowly go forward, chaturanga. Go back, plank. Come to your side plank. Left side this time. Right hand to sky, bend the right knee. And then slowly step back, wild thing. Open the heart, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Look down. Slowly go and step the right foot forward as slow and controlled as you can. Go flow and bloom, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Reverse your warrior. Parsvakonasana. Breathing in. 
breathing out. Look down. Left hand plants down. <laughs> Go find your reverse Gandasana on this side. Left hip dips down. Right hand reaches back. Inhale here. Stay for the exhale. <sighs> Lift the hips. Go take your hands here. One o'clock. Shift forward. Find a half moon. Again, stay here. Or find Chapasana. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bend both knees. Let's go find standing split for a moment. Both hands down. So find your variation. Look back, look right, big toe. Take your hands wide up to you. One more here. Slowly bend both knees. Left knee taps the right calf. Find your Shiva squat hands in prayer to your heart. Extend Warrior Three Airplane. Once you're ready, plant your hands again. Find your headstand, handstand up to you. We're all going to meet. Downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Breathing in. Breathing out. Once you're ready, gaze forward, ground on onto your forearm. So again, we're gonna find some drills here. Slowly left leg reach the sky. Inhale. Gaze forward. See if you can somehow place your nose as near as you can towards your thumbs. With control, push it back to the sky. One more round. Look forward, gaze, and shoot forward, nose to the thumbs, and then press back up. One more forward, and then press. Forward, and press. Last one, forward, and press. <laughs> Chaturanga, fine plank. Three-legged dog, downward facing dog. <sighs> Everything on the opposite side. Let's go. Forearms down to the ground. Right leg lifts up. Gaze forward. Nose to the thumbs. One. And up. Find control. Two. And up. Three. And up. Four, you got this. And up. Energize. Five. And up. Chaturanga. Come to plank. Three-legged dog. Downward facing dog. Big breath here. On your exhale, bend the knees to a hover. And then at the same time, ground it down. Untuck the toes. Take a seat. And then notice how you breathe. Ah, it's a really nice workout. I hope you guys are having fun. It's been a long time, but um, I rarely um, post about Pinja Mayuras and the flows, but this is super, super important for those um, who have been trying Pinja on all of my advanced flows. So, okay, so pretty sure you have already warmed up. This is the reason why we have your blocks. So you can find your block, or again, thick block. Make sure they are at the nice length, press on all of your hands. So it's a different feeling when you plant your palms down. It's a different feeling when your palms are up. It's a different feeling when it's here. Yeah, so notice how you feel. On all of the drills that we've done today, you can use or you can do everything with your blocks. Just make sure that you're safe, you're aware, aware of how safety is super important when you do your pinch or any kind of inversions practice of that, okay? So plant on all of your hands here and then see you can find yourself on your dolphin pose. Tuck the toes, lift your hips up. Yeah, so there's an energizing way of pressing your palms to the blocks. So notice if you can lift one leg up to the sky. Yeah, so if you can shift your weight towards your forearms, gaze forward as well. You can do this on a wall. Slowly, if you want, find control and lifting yourself up. One, two, three, try. So you can go and find yourself here on a stay. Or whenever you're ready, go and take flight.
Once you're ready, go down. Release, knees down, find yourself on a seat. Yes, <laughs> so with how you've seen in this video, my palms sometimes aren't really pressing onto each other because um, it's rarely that they use a block. I use, only use it when I know that I need to do more of a long time when I do my pincha. So this is one good way for you to try. If you feel like blocks are really not a part of your practice, just put them on the side, plant your palms down. One thing that's happening here in your pincha when your palms are down is that your knuckle pads tend to lift up, especially the inner, on the inner edges. It takes a lot of practice and awareness really on pressing them down so that you can grip on all of your mat. And somehow for me at least, in my experience, my knuckle pads are somehow the brakes for me not to somehow dip and fold forward, yeah, to a bridge pose. So that's the only thing that you'd want to make sure of. So you want to go and do this on a wall if you need that. Um, I did it with one leg, which is my left leg going forward. You can go and do it with your right leg. Take a pause in this video and come and do it again and again. Yeah, if you're doing or you're practicing on a wall, maybe one hand and one forearm away from the wall. If that was happening, um, the most important part from our drills are when you press your forearms towards the ground. And that way you're making sure that everything is firm and safe and that is what you want to do. You need strength for you to do that and not just wing it on flexibility. And of course, you're going to be injured if you don't activate all of your upper body in this one. Yes, and of course, your gaze. Let's do it one more round together with me if you are here. So I'm going to go and do this without a block plant on all of your hands. So this is also one nice trick for you to try. So usually when your shoulders or your forearms are shoulder distance apart, they tend to play out a little bit more when you come up already. So see if you can take them a little bit more narrow than the shoulders so that when you lift, it's a little bit more shoulder distance apart. Yeah, so see if that feels good. So find your stance. Again, do this on the wall if you need that. Pronate your arms, uh, your hands nicely. Lift your hips up. Choose your favorite leg to come up. Shorten the stance. Go and try hops. Once you're ready, go and fly. Release <laughs> once you're done. Ground into your child's pose. Hips to the heels. Take your hands forward. Feel free to pause in this video for a moment if you want to play more. If you're here with me, keep reaching your hands forward. You can lengthen the sides and just notice how you feel. Inhale. And exhale. Gaze forward. Slowly take a seat once more. Go find a quick counter stretch for that one. Roll the shoulders up and back. Clasp your hands at the back this time. Open the heart, knuckles away from the hips. Gaze above. And then see if you can. Plant your heart down, belly down, forehead down. Knuckles to the back or to the sky. If you want some more, we're going to crawl towards the crown of your head as you lift your hips. Take your knuckles somehow, if you can, to the top of the mat. Heels come together, heels of the hands come together and maybe away from each other. Notice how that feels too. Stay for four, three, two, and one. Rolling back, making sure nothing's painful. Release your hands here. Let's go cool down for a moment. Slowly come to tabletop, crawl your knees. Swing to the side, take a seat here. Let's go find yourselves in your windshield wipers. Take your hands at the back, windshield wipers left and right. Come back center. Let's go find Gopokasana. So right leg first at the bottom. So knee pointing forward, left leg stacks on top. So in any shape that you want to do this, feel free to do that. Plant your hands, lift your hips. This is what I like to do so that I can make sure that I'm shimmying all my hips grounded onto the mat. Yeah. 
feet can come near the hips if that's possible. Feet can come down or come away. You can find a block here at the bottom of your knees if you need that support or come and place it underneath the bum. Yeah, now let's go find your arms. Reach your hands up and overhead. And then slowly, let's go bend the right elbow first. Right hand in the middle of your shoulder blades, left hand to the right elbow. So if you feel like your ribs are coming out here, pull them in. See the side body open. And then slowly, if you want some more left hand, we'll go down and around to find your right hand. Lengthen as you inhale. Then as you exhale, see if you want to fall down. So heart reaching forward, forward, forward. Stay for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Gaze forward. And then relax. Yes. So right hand will go to the right side hip. Left hand still at the back. Maybe you can bind it towards your right arm. Roll the shoulders down and back. Right ear to the right shoulder. Relax. Release. Find your right shoulder. Gaze there. And then bow down. Look forward and then release your bind. Now we're going to go and find your Gomukhasana on the second side. What I like to do is to just go and twist towards the back and then twist to the other side. Now this time my right leg is on top of my left. Yeah? Or just unravel your legs and <laughs> go towards this side. Yeah, so notice if all of your hips are down to the ground. Notice your feet, your ankles, if they're supported. Reach your hands up and overhead. This time, bend onto the left elbow, left hand in between the shoulder blades, right hand to the left elbow. Pull the ribs in, stay here, or gently go right hand down and around to find a bind with your left. Now you'll see the difference between your left and your right. Pull the left shoulder, or left elbow up, belly in, and notice if you want to fold down. And for five, four, three, two, and one. Gaze forward and then release. Yes, take your hand, left hand beside the left hip, right hand wraps again to the back, finding your left arm. Roll the shoulders down and back, this time left ear to the left shoulder, close your eyes. Breathing in. Breathing out. Once you're ready, release. Find your left shoulder, bow down. Come back center and then release. Release your hands, take it to the back, unravel the feet. Windshield wipers left and right. Once you're ready, go back center. Let's all meet in your easy sitting pose. Take your hands on your knees, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Lift the crown of your head up, close your eyes here for a few moments. Noticing, nourishing the final moments that you have, honoring your body, truly amazing. Saying thank you to all parts of your body that allowed you to move mindfully today. Thank you to all of the thoughts and the feelings that came up. Send love to each and every one. Let's close your practice today. Take both of your hands in a prayer. Guide it down to the heart center. Bow down as if gazing into your own heart. Namaste. Open your eyes. And we're done. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. I am really, really excited 
to be back on the mat as much as I can. It's been busy, but whenever I do have time, I go and take and shoot a video for everyone here. So again, thank you. Let me know how your practice went. If you have any questions with regards to this practice, since it's a little bit more technical than the other practices that we have, drop them down below in the comments. I'll try to answer them the easiest and the fastest way that I can. See you on the next video.